Yeah, I don't want him to do anything to me. altercation happened over a year ago but the video is making its rounds on social media again now there was an original comment that was put out by the i think it was the 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 woman's daughter and it read the situation all stemmed from a traffic altercation during the altercation the old guy was harassing my mother sticking up his middle finger and yelling things to her not only that but he decides to continue the harassment by escorting his wife into longhorns and telling her to go take a seat he then came back outside and walked up to my mother's face, saying, come here, girl, come here. That's when the argument happened. As they're arguing, when he decided to get louder, he spit in my mother's face, and she reacted by pushing him. At this point, he should have walked away. But no, he goes back into my mother's face and continues arguing with her. Then he proceeds to slap her. At that point, it was self-defense, so she punched him. The altercation did continue inside which resulted into the whole restaurant getting involved. Police arrived and after seeing camera footage from this lady recording and from the restaurant camera, the police said the old guy was in the wrong. Pierre, let me come to you. What are your thoughts about that video and all that the daughter said inside of her um, write-up? Well, I'm disappointed in both of them. And that's because they went to Longhorns. Where the hell do you go? Who goes to Longhorns still? Yeah. Hell no. Longhorns. God damn. Yeah. Two, two, for, two for 25 or something. What the oh, hell is Longhorns? God. <laughs> yeah. I know. Some of y'all going to be mad. Longhorns. Longhorns. Longhorn. Okay. All right. I eat Longhorns <laughs> too. But damn. That's the first move. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's what happened at Houston. Okay. On the restaurant. <laughs> um, now, when, you know what I say? When F around and find out becomes real. Okay. Do no damn with. Look, you get to arguing or whatever. Take it. You you separate. Let it go. For him to come back outside to see that sister like that, he deserved everything he received. Every damn thing he received. And then he spit on her. Woo! That's violation two hundred and thirty-two right there. That's that's mm-hmm. the worst right there, boy. You can woo Um. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad she did what she did to him. You know, he gonna he gonna know next time when you argue with somebody in the road, you just keep it moving, and that's about it. So I have no qualms of what happened. Um, and I'm glad that she didn't get in trouble. You but mentioned damn, the longhorns, spit. huh? I I'll be honest. I don't even know what longhorn is. I'm so I know sorry. That's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, you... <laughs> the thing is, you mentioned the spit, and she said in her write up that he spit on her, and Woo! she pushed him away. For me, from you spit on me, we tussling like we fighting because that's right. the ultimate disrespect. And then mm-hmm. I don't know, like. Like that's saliva. Like you could be sick with something. I don't know. That's just disgusting. So we tossed well, in from then. So she really did, in, in my opinion, from just reading the write up, just mm-hmm. reading the write up, she mm-hmm. had a bit of patience in the situation by not going off right, right, right on go. And now right. I could understand why. Like when he hit her, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's funny because the daughter said it was self defense at that point. It was it's self defense if you hit him once and he stumbled to the floor. She hit him. He proceeded to go inside, and then she went after him. She's like, "No, we ain't finished with this." And I, I honestly, I understand her in that moment because I gave you a long rope. I gave you a very long rope. You spit on me. You slap me. Now it's time. It's time for us right. to tussle. It's really time right. for us to tussle. And as a man, I don't care how old you are. Your physical strength is more than mine. So for right. you to hit a woman, like the whole situation is crazy to me. Um, I know they said the police came and that um he was in the wrong. I hope. 
he got I hope he got charged with um something. So, something um, yeah. I hope he got charged with. So, so, yeah. so on a, 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 throwing that object. But before I before I don't want to dog Longhorns too bad. I know that's where Capone takes his big meetings at with his uh you know his business meetings, take folks over to Capone to Longhorns. They got a little seat in the corner for him. You know, come on, Mr. Uh, Capone, have a seat with your meeting. Over here, get one of these, get one of these two dollar ribeye steaks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the fourth of July. You know what I'm saying? I'm celebrating half my family. <laughs> Capone, Capone, let's bring you in. Capone, what are your thoughts? Of course, the spitting, and uh, I think uh, there should have been more footage of her whipping his ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> the okay. funny part is when he did fall, you know, he that, that fall hurt, and he thought about it for a minute, and he thought he had backup when people were like, all right, let's break this up and try to jump in her face, and she hauled ass on him again. So I think that... Uh, this, this tradition that white people got was spitting on black people at some point is really going to come to a C. So a lot of y'all going to get y'all ass whipped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't know where Longhorn is at, P. I mean, I have. <laughs> didn't, didn't you taste my chef's food? I did. So I did. Chef, You're right. Yeah, You're right. My, my chef bad. cooked. Oh. oh, yeah. Mom, sorry. My bad. My bad. <laughs> The pawn said, don't style him. Don't I know style that's right. him. <laughs> you know what style means, right, Pierre Capone? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all know yeah. what that means, right? Yeah, we know. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle, let me come to you first. So, you know, in situations like this, I feel like, and, and I think everybody's on the same, we all agree here. This is uh, everything he got, he deserved. Everything that happened should be. Um, but, of course, you know, I look at the comments and just seeing what people are saying, you know, there's always this debate about the Malcolm X, you know, versus the, the Martin Luther King approach. You know, when there are situations, do you take the quote unquote high road or, you know, how do you handle racist situations? So, Danielle, let me ask you, you know, if you're in this situation, how do you respond and what approach? And I don't want to say what's the right way. I guess what are your thoughts on the approaches that people always bring to the forefront in these situations? Oh, oh. If, hold on. If you spit on me, if right. you know, Malcolm right. X, Martin yeah, Luther yeah. King, I, I go and strike Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather on you. Like, you know, oh. you know, no, no. Because the thing is, I think people forget, yes, Martin was a very passive, aggressive approach. But Malcolm was just a more aggressive approach. When I say Martin was, was passive, aggressive, People don't understand in order for you to sit down and be attacked by dogs and be hoes, like they train for that. They train for that, to be yelled at, to be spit on and not react. That in itself, that is a strong stance that you're able to take. So I don't want, ever want nobody to feel like Martin's approach to what he was doing was not an aggressive was. It was, especially when it came to the training and for you to take that. Malcolm was just more, Malcolm was just in your face aggressive. And both of them only got like that when it was, necessary it was it was only when it was necessary in this situation again it was necessary but i'm not using my words like if you spit on me we can fight we can fight and i go in i can knock you out that's it no i listen i i am with you i am only coming from what i am seeing Pierre, i don't have no hair for you to grab so i go in <laughs> i probably need to cut my hair in that case pierre i'm going to come to you but before we do i just want to take one more look at the clip just one more let's take one more look and then Pierre, I'm coming. One more look. Yeah. yeah, I don't want him to do anything to her. Get the out my way, because I'm about to put my hands on your old ass. Get the out my way. Can you go get some help? I don't give a f no. It's old motherfuckers like you, and then y'all wonder why black people act the f up. Because you white bitches think y'all got it all. But you got the right motherfucking one, bitch. Fucking try me. Smell all the f you want out of spit in your motherfucking face. You better back the f up. And what? I and I, that's a threat. Now if I would put my hand on my your own ass, put the fuck out my face. Yeah. That's what? That's Bobby. the goddamn what? Bobby. Get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck out of my man face. Is, is, this man is assaulting her. What's wrong with you, motherfucker? He assaulted her. He's what the right fuck right is wrong right with you? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. what? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Now get his ass back. Get him the Back. I'm sick of these 
Sarah, I'm coming straight to you. What, what are your thoughts about, you know, when people talk about different ways to respond to, to racist situations like this? I mean, you gotta, you can't really fault him. He don't understand when you, when, when, a, when a sister got her yoga pants on, I mean, I mean, all oh, shit's about to break loose. Okay. She in a position to do a lots of things. You up here with your golf attire on and shit, come on player. That is a total mismatch right there. Um, like she told him, she told him you got the wrong one. And at that point, you need to walk away. When a sister tell you you got the wrong one, nine out of 10 times, you got the wrong one, okay? And you really got the right one, but you got the wrong one, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, come on. It, 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 you know, no one got really, really hurt at the end of the day, but people learned their lesson. And that old man, I think, learned his lesson. And, um, you know, I, I say, calm your hype, you put this, that, that clip on rotation. You know what I'm saying? It's just, just like, a, like, a, like a five... Five-time rotation. Every time you come on Comedy Hype, you see him getting pushed to the side. I think we'll be, uh, you know, people know we're a black network at that point. Okay. <laughs> Platform. <laughs> we'll add it to our intro. We'll add it to our intro. Exactly. That's a new Comedy Hype intro right there. Yeah. Capone, let me, let me bring you in. What are your thoughts when people talk about, you know, the way that black people should respond to racist situations like this? Um, it's always a situation when the black person is over the top yelling and screaming it makes us look like we can't be talked to or we are eight and all that type of stuff like he she told him several times get out my face mm -hmm. you know just get out my face and he wouldn't listen and then it escalated and she started yelling whether he spit it or he didn't spit it, it it's to a point where they they taunt us until we can't take no more and then when we you know really over over the top with it, it makes us look crazy. Yeah, it's like poking the bear, and then when the bear responds, you're like, oh my gosh, why is the bear acting like this? It's like, what did I do? What did I do? Now, we talked a lot about them too. I will say, y'all know I love production. Shout out to the camera woman for taking the time to like clear, wipe her camera off, because it, it was a little blurry in the beginning, but I appreciate it. Her wiping it off, just so we can get a clear, clear view of the footage. That way, the right decision could have been made, and obviously it was. So shout out to the camera lady as well.